And basically the entire process uh, can be done on a distance. You don't have to be over here when you're buying from the developer. <laughs> Hi everyone, in this video I will explain you the process of transfer for non-residents. There are two types of the transactions, when you're buying from the developer and the second one is when you're buying from an individual on the secondary uh, market. And let's start with the secondary market because it's a, a little bit uh, longer process and the purchase from the developer is quite easy. So when you're buying on the secondary market, first of all, you need to have a bank account over here uh, in Dubai and you need to be ready that you will need to spend around five days up to uh, one and a half months uh, for the transaction. Why there is such big uh, gap? The thing is that uh, sometimes the seller uh, can, uh, can have a mortgage on the property and it will take time to clear uh, the mortgage and beside this there are some other uh, documents that you need to, to, to take before the transfer such as an NOC from the developer. Uh, NOC from the developer is non-objection certificate uh, from the developer. So the developer will have to check if there is uh, any outstanding uh, amounts uh, that the current owner uh, has. Uh, and uh, basically he's checking if there are any uh, fees that he needs to pay for the uh, maintenance, uh, maintenance fees. And if everything is okay, they will allow you to make a transfer. And this uh, makes uh, a transaction very safe uh, for you. So how does it usually work uh, on the secondary market? First of all, you need to find a property after that you will need to sign uh, an agreement uh, with the with the seller you will need to put 10 percent uh, down uh, deposit security deposit and after that you will need to go to the noc for the developer and once the noc is ready you will go for the transfer uh, somewhere in between there might be a bank uh, with the mortgage and uh, yeah in some cases it can take uh, some uh, time so you, you need to be ready that uh, you will need to spend uh, uh, maybe a few days uh, in Dubai to finalize everything. And uh, what is important why I mentioned that you need to have a bank account here is because you need to prepare a manager's check for the transfer. You cannot come with the cash uh, for the transfer and you cannot transfer the money to the seller's account. So that's why you need to bring a manager's check. A uh, manager's check is a check that has a guarantee from the bank that there are money on your account. So when bank issues a manager's check, they block this amount on your account. And uh, like this, the, the seller will be sure that when he comes with the check to the bank, he will receive uh, his money. Alternative option is like, if you don't want to open a bank account here, is to open, to transfer the money to the broker and let him prepare the manager's check, but I don't recommend it to do because uh, you understand there is some uh, risk involved in this and it's better to open a bank account. And second type of uh, purchase is when you're buying from the uh, developer. This is the easiest and the smoothest uh, purchase that you can uh, do. Uh, first of all, it's, uh, it's safe as far as you're transferring money only to the escrow account and you don't have to open here a bank account, you can just transfer the money uh, directly to the escrow account of the project and sometimes it's even uh, easier than to transfer to your own account uh, because uh, due to some regulations in different countries you need to uh, explain why you're transferring money somewhere unfortunately so uh, with uh, the transfer to the escrow account you can explain that I'm buying uh, a property and basically the entire process uh, can be done on a distance you don't have to be over here when you're buying from the developer so when developer is selling something, his project needs to be registered. That project has to have uh, an escrow account and the government regulates all this. So I have a lot of cases when people just transferring money uh, to the escrow account and uh, they, uh, the developer sends them the sales and purchase agreement. So uh, once you make the payment of the down payment and once you make the payment of the registration fees, the developer will register the property for you. And again, you don't have to be here for the registration. Uh, the government uh, made them, the developers, responsible for this. They will have to go to the Dubai Land Department and do all the paperwork. So when we are talking about purchase from the developer, uh, it can take you only a few hours to, to choose the unit uh, and to, to make a transfer. Everything is very straightforward, very transparent and very easy. So this is the brief information about uh, the transfers. I hope you got an idea about uh, how both of the systems uh, are working and if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer them in the comments below thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one goodbye